Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing My Fair Lady. So My Fair Lady came out in 1964 and was directed by George Cukor and this is a musical which is based on the play Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. So this film is set in Edwardian London and right at the start of the film we're introduced to Audrey Hepburn's character Eliza Doolittle who is a Cockney flower girl in Covent Garden. While in Covent Garden she's trying to sell some flowers to these rich people and here she meets Rex Harrison's character who is a phonetics professor named Henry Higgins and he breaks into a song about why can't the English speak properly or why can't the English teach their children to speak properly. He basically wagers that he can make even a flower girl like Eliza Doolittle speak properly if she's given enough training and enough time. So later on Eliza decides that she wants to learn to speak uh, more proper, she wants to learn to speak properly so that she can get a better job working in a fancy shop. So she approaches Professor Henry Higgins and then what happens throughout the story is that Eliza and Henry Higgins, they work together in order to improve Eliza's voice and help her speak better and help her become a proper lady. Now having watched this, I think as a musical, I think it works very well. I think there's lots of great songs in it and actually quite a lot of the film is broken up into these songs and whether, whether it's Audrey Hepburn's character, Rex Harrison's character or later on also Stanley Holloway's character, the songs really suit the characters very well and they almost always bring out certain sides of their personalities and yeah, the music really helps us to get to know these characters aside from the dialogue exchange between the characters. I think in terms of the performances, I think they're all brilliant to be honest. I really like the acting in this film and I think especially with Audrey Hepburn, she almost has to play two different characters. She's a Cockney flower girl, so she has a Cockney accent and then later on when she's attending all these fancy balls, she obviously has a more upper class English voice. So she has to almost play two different characters and in my opinion she does it extremely well. I also think that Rex Harrison does an excellent performance as um, Henry Higgins and in fact he also played him in the um, stage production so he really suits the character very well and obviously has really got to know this character and some of his songs are particularly funny particularly he has a song um, you know why can't the English speak properly and why can't a woman be more like a man and his songs you know they really show what his character is like because he's a bachelor um, living on his own and he obviously takes his profession very seriously. We also have Stanley Holloway who appears in this film as I mentioned earlier he plays Eliza's father and he's a bit of a selfish man because he doesn't really look after his daughter properly and almost tries to um, at one point take advantage of her and wants to make some money off of her when she is being taught by Professor Higgins and he has some funny songs as well like um, get me to the church on time and with a little bit of luck however if I'm going to be completely honest I did think that his character didn't necessarily fit in with the rest of the story all the time and he had a few bits that perhaps dragged on a little bit too long and weren't weren't always necessary for the development of the story I like the relationship between um, him and Eliza but in my opinion it didn't really seem to go anywhere towards the end of the film I was hoping his character would appear later on but he didn't. And we also have Gladys Cooper as well, who plays Henry Higgins' mother, and she gives an excellent performance and helps give a different side to Henry Higgins later on in the story. I also have to say this is an excellent looking film. It's very bright, it's very colourful, although toward the start, obviously, it is quite dark and murky with the scenes in Covent Garden. Um, when we get the later scenes at these balls and, and at the Ascot race, it really is bright and colourful and all the costumes they all look really interesting and really obviously suit the time period very well. This film was actually successful both critically and commercially so it was actually the second biggest film of 1964 behind Mary Poppins which was obviously another musical and um, in terms of the Academy Awards it was nominated for 12 and won 8 including Best Picture, Best Director for George Cukor and Best Actor for Rex Harrison. Now Audrey Hepburn wasn't actually nominated for Best Actress, which is a bit of a shame. The Oscar for Best Actress that year went to Julie Andrews in Mary Poppins. Now it was originally thought that Julie Andrews would be playing Eliza in this film, as she'd played Eliza do the tour in the stage production of it, but Audrey Hepburn was chosen for this film because she was seen as a bigger draw. I have to say, having seen Audrey Hepburn in this film, I almost can't picture Julie Andrews in this film. Julie Andrews 
perhaps might have suited the character better. I think Audrey Hepburn gave a fantastic performance. And um, yeah, she was absolutely wonderful in this film. Now, an interesting thing is that her singing in this film was actually dubbed by Marnie Nixon. Now, Marnie Nixon has an, um, had an excellent singing voice, and she also dubbed lots of other actresses at the time. She also dubbed Natalie Wood in West Side Story. So, so she had an excellent voice and really has that perfect voice for a musical. However, I have seen some clips of actually Audrey Hepburn singing the song. And in fact, Audrey Hepburn didn't realize she was going to be dubbed until afterwards. So she did actually sing the lyrics to the songs. And having watched it, I actually almost wish that, that they could have kept Audrey Hepburn's voice because it seems to suit the character more and sort of brings out her personality more. But having said that, we don't know because obviously in the final version, Marnie Nixon's voice was used. If I'm to have any problems with this film, I probably would say that it's a bit on the long side. It is almost three hours long. Though I do like the fact that there's an intermission in the middle as it does um, split up the film quite nicely. I also wasn't necessarily a big fan of the ending. And when I say the ending, I mean the last sort of five minutes and particularly the last line of the film. And it's funny because I've looked at other reviews and most people seem to really like the last bit at the end of the film. I think it, it's quite an iconic last line. And I can see why it's quite a funny sort of witty line. But at the same time, it's to do with Rex Harrison's character, Henry Higgins. And his character is a very interesting character, though um, I felt that perhaps his character should have been given a bit more of a character arc as he developed. Because his character does start to change throughout the film. He sort of, um, he begins to view Eliza in a different way and certainly appreciates her a bit more. But that last line almost seemed as though nothing has changed and it wasn't worth it. Now, I'm not sure this was supposed to be quite tongue-in-cheek and a little bit ironic. So... Perhaps that was missed on me, I don't know. But nevertheless, Rex Harrison is superb in his role here. So overall, I think My Fair Lady is an excellent musical. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best musical. I wouldn't quite put it up there with ones like Singing in the Rain and Wizard of Oz, or even ones like The Sound of Music and West Side Story. I do think it does sit comfortably as one of those greatest musicals, particularly of this era. And actually in the, um, in the 1960s, there were obviously lots of big other musicals as well and this does fit perfectly in the era and I can certainly see why this was such a success. So overall I'm going to give My Fair Lady a rating of 8 out of 10. If you're a big fan of classic Hollywood musicals then you'll definitely like this. It's pretty much exactly what you expect. It's um, grand, it's epic, it's you know um, a bit romantic as well. It's excellent performances, it has loads of great songs, it's a beautiful looking film. So definitely check this one out if it sounds like your kind of thing so there we go so that is my review of my fair lady so what do you guys think have you seen my fair lady do you like it do you dislike it please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below anyway thank you very much for watching i'll see you all in the next video take care